Welcome back to my second video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to perform a select query uh, from your Microsoft Access database. Uh, from your Microsoft Access database uh, file. So let's go back to our uh, main project. Uh, file then we we want to declare the variables that we are going to use first of all we want to declare a statement as the st equals to now let's say static so statement we have to import Static again we result set rs equals to now we don't have result set again static uh, prepared statement pst equals to now Mm -hmm. Then we have static connection. No. Connection equals to now. We also have to import the connection. So let's write the constructor so we can initialize our connection tree um, public read access so you can SLC connection equals to connection string class dot get connection All right now we have to create an object so that uh, our connection string class would be initialized through the calling of the object because every time you create an object of a class its constructor is uh, is called automatically uh, r equals to new read access database now we sort it. everything's fine now let's write a function that is going to be uh, used to make a selection a statement public static void select it's an abbreviation of a uh, selection so we're going to make a try catch statement ex system out dot print ln ex dot get localized message dot to string right so in here we're going to uh, perform a selection query so in order to do that we're going to say a prepared statement equals our connection dot prepared statement so in here we are going to write a selection an sql statement select all from let's check what is the the table that we have here okay it's table one table one with capital t table one so we want to select everything in that table result set equals to 
prepared statement dot execute query so now we want to loop through the result that is from the database dot next system dot out dot print ln rs dot get string one let's take everything let's check how many attributes we have we have one two three four all right then we want to take everything then we have to copy um, the plus 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 last one so here we put a four we omitted the plus here we put a three here we put a two here so now uh, we can call our select function here so it can actually give us a display of all the records inside this table so let's run our program and see what is the result okay as we can see these are the records if perhaps you want to have a, a comma separated with commas uh, and they, they are all separated with commas let's edit the last the last uh, record and see whether our database will reflect let's see heaven and here let's put p then we want to save and let's run and see whether our last record would be heaven as you can see so guys this is working now uh, thank you for having time to watch my second video tutorial please subscribe to my video see you in the next video tutorial where i will be teaching you guys how to perform an update on to a microsoft access database